good day everybody we've been given a quarter circle let me draw the quarter circle this is just an approximate figure okay and then from we got a 90 degree so I need to look for that 90 degrees okay let me hit it like this and then okay So this is O B D C E. These two sides are going to be equal. This length is four units. This is ninety. This is ninety. So let me write that down. Given this is given. Given that. And also we've been given D C E. So D C E is thirty degrees. This is thirty. And C E D, C E D is 90 degrees. We are given O C is equal to O D, so both the sides are one and the same. And C O D is 90 degrees. We are expected to obtain the area of the shaded region. So we need to obtain this area and this area. Now, for most, what I'm going to do is, I will be considering this triangle. Okay. Now, over here it is 90 degrees. So, what I wish to do is, I would like to draw, I would like to say, consider triangle DCE. So, I'm going to draw the triangle. Okay. So this end is C. This is 30 degrees. And The hypotenuse is D, it's given as 4 units, this is 90 degrees, this is E. So I would like to take sine theta, sine theta is opposite side divided by hypotenuse side. So this means sine 30 is equal to DE divided by DC. DE I don't know, DC I know, sine theta is 1 over 2 is equal to DE over 4 therefore DE is equal to 4 divided by 2 which means DE is equal to 2 units so this is 2 units now you will be wondering why did I get that now you will understand within a few minutes now next what I wish to see uh, what I wish to show you is OC and OD is given to be equal or uh, given to be equal now since OC is equal to OD this means triangle COD is an isosceles triangle this, this is 90 degree the isosceles size will make the same angle equal angle so this will be 45 degrees this will be 45 degrees so that's an observation you will have to make now what I wish to do is I would like to get these two sides now I'm going to take this as X and I'm going to take this as X All right now since this is 90 degrees 
what I wish to do is I will apply Pythagoras right and I got an I got a hypotenuse line there so consider triangle COD since it is a right angled triangle this means we can apply Pythagoras theorem so what is that OC squared plus OD squared is equal to CD squared CD squared is 4 squared this is x squared plus x squared which implies 2 times x squared is equal to 16 therefore x squared is equal to 8 so that would mean x is equal to root of 8 I can write 8 as 4 times 2 which is nothing but 2 times root 2 so this is the value of x so this is 2 times root 2 OC is 2 times root 2 OD is 2 times root 2 right now why am I finding all this for the very fact that foremost I will have to use the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle and I will have to subtract these areas from the area of this sector or area of the quarter circle that is why I am finding out all of these I hope you you saw this you saw this all important step right or uh, I didn't want the camera angle to hide this I hope you got this so the reason is that I'm adding the x squared with x squared so I get 2 times x squared is equal to 16 and this would mean dividing by 2 I get x squared is equal to 8 and x is equal to root of 8 which means x is equal to root of 4 times 2 which is x is equal to 2 times root 2 okay so having mentioned this what I wish to do now is I would like to actually use the cosine angle to find the radius now this is 30 degree this is 90 degree so what would this angle be this angle would clearly be 60 degrees right now what I wish to do is I would like to draw uh, a line connecting O with E now before I could draw the line connecting O with E I would like to calculate the area of T1 and T2 so let me do that so area of T1 is equal to half times base into height half times what is the base my base see the figure what you got in the base my base is two units but I want to know the height so how do I get the height let me show that to you over here I want to get the height here so my height uh, I would say I've got the I've got the slant height which is CD and I've got DE I got this one and if I take uh, I should say if this is the base I need to get EC right so DE did I get EC anyway no okay DE squared plus EC squared is equal to DC squared DE squared is 2 squared EC squared is unknown and the DC squared is 4 squared so 16 negative 4 is going to be giving me 12 so EC is equal to root of 4 times 3 which is 2 times root 3 this is my EC so I've got the height right you have to view the triangle like this this is the base and this is the height so the height is 2 times root 3 so base base times height base is 2 my height is 2 times root 3 so 2 2 gets cancelled giving me 2 times root 3 square units so that is area of triangle T1 is 2 times root 3 square units so you box that 
now I need to get the area of this. What is the area of T2? Area of T2 is half times base times height which is half times base you got to view this like this base is 2 times root 2 is it right 2 times root 2 and then height height is also 2 times root 2 you see this is the base this is height this is 90 degrees so height is also 2 times root 2 so 2 times root 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled root 2 into root 2 is 2 and then you have a 2 there is 4 units 4 square units so this is the area of T2 now therefore area of T1 plus area of T2 is equal to 2 times root 3 plus 4 square units let me have that in one corner why do I need this I will take this away from the area of the quarter circle so if I remove the area of this triangle I will get the shaded region I'll get these two shaded regions. That's what is required. Now the must or the most important question is to find the radius. So how do I get the radius? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect this with this vertex. Okay, I'm connecting these two vertexes and I am going to name it as R. Now this total angle I'm going to be utilizing it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this figure okay let me draw that figure for your better understanding so you got this and you got it like this and then this is like this now this entire angle is 60 plus 40 that's 105 okay 105 degree this side is 2, this side is 2 times root 2, I need this R. Now what I wish to do is I will apply, we will apply cosine angle formula or cosine rule. So that means cos of 105 degree is equal to this side is ODE, so which is nothing but OD squared plus DE squared minus OE squared divided by now we need to know that division so that is going to be divided by 2 times of OD times DE so this is the formula of cosine angle right so cos 105 degree is OD squared is 2 times root 2 the whole squared plus DE squared is 2 squared negative R squared divided by 2 times of OD is 2 times root 2 and DE is 2 this is root 2 squared is 2 2 squared is 4 2 squared is 4 negative R squared divided by 2 times 2 times 2, 2 twos are 4, 4 times 2 is 8 times root 2. This is cos 105 degree. Now the question is how are you going to find out cos 105 degrees? Now what I wish to do is I will rearrange this. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 fours are 12, negative r squared divided by 8 times root 2 times cos 105. Now I'm going to show you how to find cos 105. Uh, let me write that down here. Cos 105 degree is equal to cos of 60 degree plus 45 degree. Now this is synonymous to cos of A positive B which is cos A cos B negative sin A sin B. So therefore cos of 60 plus 45 is nothing but cos 60 cos 45 sin 60 sin 45. Cos 60 is 1 over 2, cos 45 is 1 over root 2, sin 60 is root 3 over 2, sin 45 is 1 over root 2. Now this is what we have got, we got 1 over 2 times root 2, negative root of 3 divided by 2 times root 2. I take the LCM as 2 times root 2, I get 1 negative root 3. Now take this value and substitute it here. Right? So I'm going to write, therefore, 
This is what we have got. Cos 105 degree equal to 12 negative r square divided by 8 times root 2 now becomes 1 negative root 3 divided by 2 times root 2 is equal to 12 negative r square divided by 8 times root 2. Root 2 root 2 gets cancelled and 2 divides here 4 times so you cross multiply. So this means 4 times of 1 negative root 3 is equal to 12 negative r squared. I want to make r squared positive. So this is going to be 12 negative 4 times of 1 negative root 3. So r squared is equal to 12 negative 4 positive 4 times root 3. Right? Okay. So this is going to be 8 positive 4 times root 3. This is going to be, if I were to take 4 out, I would get 2 positive root 3. This is my r squared. But I need only r. So r is equal to root of 4 times 2 positive root 3. If I were to apply square root, I get 2 times of root of 2 positive root 3. Now this is going to be my r. But as I mentioned to you, I want the area of the quarter circle. So let me write that down here. Area of quarter circle is equal to pi r squared times 1 over 4 which is nothing but pi my r what is the value of r place this here my r is 2 times root of 2 positive root 3 squared divided by 4 when you square it we get pi 2 squared is 4 the square root and the square gets cancelled giving me 2 positive root of 3 divided by 4. 4, 4 can be cancelled giving me pi times of 2 positive root 3. So therefore area of shaded region is equal to area of square minus area of the triangles area of T1 added with area of T2 right area of the uh, it's not a square area of the quarter circle okay quarter circle area of the quarter circle negative area of t1 plus t2 now area of quarter circle is pi of 2 positive root of 3 negative area of the triangles t1 and t2 what is that 2 positive, I, uh, I should say 2 times root 3 positive 4. So 2 times root 3 positive 4. So this is what I've got. Now, if you want, you can simplify this using the value. Okay, so let me just do it like this. So this is equal to pi times of 2 positive root 3 negative I'm taking 2 out so I will get root 3 positive 2 now uh, root 3 positive 2 root 3 positive 2 I can take it out so it's going to be 2 positive root 3 is taken out I get a pi and I get a negative 2 right now if you want you can get rid of this pi by taking pi to be as 22 over 7 so 22 over 7 negative 2 is 22 negative 14 over 7 so that would give me an 8 here right so this is when you simplify this you get 2 positive root of 3 times this is nothing but 8 over 7 right after taking the LCM so you place 8 over 7 square units right that is the final solution. Either you can stop here or you can use 22 over 7 and then simplify it. Right? Simplify this and get the value that this is producing and then you pre multiply it with that quantity and then place the unit. So, this is the area of the shaded region. So, this is a beautiful problem. Please like, share and give your comments. You have an alternate method. Please put them in the comment section. Thank you everybody. 
Enjoy your day.